Okay, well here we are, six weeks and two days, and these puppies are fabulous. They're big, strong, just stocky puppies, really full on all the time, um, eating a huge amount. I mean, okay, it's a litter of eight, not a litter of seven, which I was used to over the last few weeks. But good heavens, they seem to be eating a lot more. Look at those two. That, now, that little girl there, and Sarah, you'll recognise her. That's your little girl, Ruby, at the back with the white mark. Um, I chose her thinking that she'd be, she was slightly quieter. You've got a young family. I thought, you know, two little boys are going to be playing with her, having a lot of fun. We don't want you to have the most excitable one to start with. She is, let's find her, she's just gone off on her own. Oh, she's thinking she'll go out and find the big dogs. <laughs> she knows where they are. Ruby, come on, pop, pop. Bless her heart. But she's just as playful and out there as all the others, which of course one knew she would be, but uh, you know, she actually sets about some of the boys sometimes. <laughs> so prepare yourself. Oh my word, that was a big noise. But everybody's been to see them now and confirm, which is so lovely for me. And, you know, just lovely for the puppies. There is one owner, Grant, I haven't forgotten you. Uh, you're here on Friday and, uh, you know, you've had a long wait. Good heavens, had your, you know, you had such a long wait. But it's going to be brilliant and you've got such a lovely boy waiting for you here. Look, he's in the box with his tail sticking up. But there, there he is, just got out of the box. And uh, he's a big, strong boy, as you can see. And uh, it will be fabulous to see you pick him up and uh, see your face. But I'm so pleased with them. And, uh, you know, they're puppies that easily could go early. I'm not suggesting that you do. I don't want them to. But, you know, they're so forward. Um, and in another 10 days, a couple of weeks, they're going to be, you know, a real little handful all of them here. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to let you sit and, and watch them. I certainly can't do anything with them unless I pick them up, and I've got one hand on the camera. So just make sure that they're all, all here. But they're so energetic now, and they have such a lovely time. It's the first day that it's cooler, and uh, without a doubt, these last few hot days have quietened them down. They've really been crushed out in the stable in the afternoon. There was two days that were really sort of hot and still it was a lot cooler in here than outside but I'm so glad we weren't in a position where you know they had to perhaps go out in a pen on the lawn because it just would have been too much for them but they have been able to play in here and in the evenings of course has been when they've really become more animated. What are you doing? Oh. Hello. Yeah, this is Grant. Grant this is your puppy. He's, he's in need of you. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, yes, hello. And we're getting some lovely names coming through. People are deciding on names. And uh, do let me know if you haven't told me what the name of your puppy is. Just ping it over to me in an email if you've decided. It would be lovely to know. We've got an Enid and a Ruby. Um, who else have we got? I'll come to me in a minute. Lovely, lovely names. And of course, it's all about choosing, if you've already got a dog, choosing a name that's quite different from the name that you're already calling. We've all gone for an examination. They do love the hose pipe. I expect I'll turn it on one day and find there's lots of little sprays coming out from along, <laughs> along the hose. And it's funny, they love the water when I replace their water just come gather round and like to sort of get around the spray. So I hope that's a good sign for your water retrieves in time to come. Hello, yes, you're very lovely. Yes, you are. Do have a cardboard box for them when you're at home. A low-sided one like this they absolutely love and it's such a thick tough box they can't easily get any pieces of any size off it 
I mean, they've played with that all the time, and you can see it's only perforated around the top. But they do love to get in there with something. And of course, our little boy there in the background who had a sort of change of um, plan quite late on and is now going to the most lovely, lovely farming home in Norfolk with somebody that's had um, Sean and Hannah, they've had GSPs before and uh, these are very lucky boys. It's quite stressful for a puppy, for all the brothers and sisters to go and have one, you know, even if they're with an adult, a nice quiet adult dog here it's, it's not, you know sort of feel bad about them being left. Yeah, and of course you've all seen them and you grant well with brothers and sisters, which again is so important to know how they how they compared. Anyway, let's see if I can call them all over before we close. And uh, it's going to be fabulous to see you all again in a well, it's a bit less than a couple of weeks, isn't it? But um, and see you, Grant, on Friday. And you come on, puppies! Pop, 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 pop. Come along, come along, come along! Oh yes! You say bye bye for now. Ah, I'm off. <laughs>